today's video is about edit text in Android. When you open an app, you can see different type of edit text. Like to type name, to type password, text for a post, which is multi-line text, to type your email ID, to type your age, etc. Today I am going to show you how we can use the right edit text according to our need. So let's start. First, I have created a project. We will move into XML code of this project. In design, I am deleting the default text view and I am dragging scroll view, as I will be showing many types of edit text one below the other. I am making scroll view as the parent and constraint layout as child view. Detailed video about scroll view and constraint layout is already in the channel. You can check that in the iCard above or in the description. After that, I am going to select text in palette. Inside that, you can see different possibilities of edit text. First, I am using a text view. I am planning to keep it as a heading, giving text as let's learn edit text. Then I am giving constraints to it so that it will stay in the top center. Then I am giving layout margin to the top as 16 dp. I am making it large by giving text appearance. Then I am giving textile as bold, text size as 30 sp. The next one is plain text, which is plain edit text. Just drag and drop plain text down to the text view and give constraints. Give layout width as 0 dp. I am changing the end constraint to the end of parent. At first I gave it to the end of text view. Now the edit text will fill the screen width. It is up to you how you need in your app. Then give margin to the end. Now run the app to test. Here you can see a text name. If you want to type your name, you have to delete it first. This is because this edit text is having an attribute text. Instead of text, it is better to give hint. So let's try that. Now let's test it. See, now you can write your name without deleting the text. I'm also making its text appearance large and giving margin to the start and end as 16 dp. Now let's test the edit text for password. Drag and drop it below edit text for name, giving constraints, giving margin to top as 16 dp, start and end also as 16 dp. Giving layout width as 0 dp, making the text larger, and giving hint as password. Now test the application. Click on that edit text and type your password. You can see how the edit text is working in a way suitable for passwords. Next drag password numeric. Same as we have done for previous edit text, I am giving constraints, giving attributes like layout width, margin, text appearance, and hint. And then let's test the app. Here you can see the difference. The user can only type numeric password. The keyboard is changed according to that. And it's also hiding the password from others. Now let's drag and drop email into the layout. Just below edit text for numeric password. Giving all attributes same as before. I'm not showing it again and again. Here I'm giving hint as email and test the app. Here the keyboard is changed so that user can easily type an email as it have at the rate and dot. For the normal edit text, there will be comma instead of at the rate. Now 
Now drag and drop edit text for font, giving all the attributes needed and then test the application. Here keyboard is changed in a way that the user can type phone number easily. Keyboard has numbers, plus, star, hash, etc. Next drag and drop edit text for postal address, giving attributes. It is not having much difference from the edit text for name. Now let's check the XML code. Here you can see an attribute input text as text person name. In the next edit text you can see input type as text password. Here input as number password, text email address, font and text postal address. So when you drag edit text for different users, in the XML code, an attribute is adding as input type and specifies its type so that edit text will act according to what the app is expecting from the user. Back into the design part, now let's learn about multi-line text, which will be helpful in typing a message, creating a post, etc. Giving attributes as before giving hint as self-introduction. Then test the app. Here you can click on the endo button and type in as many lines as you need. Now drag and drop edit text for time. Usually we can use time picker for the correct input, but here I'm just introducing edit text for time. Here I'm giving constraints in another way like end to end of previous edit text, not the parent view. And start to start of previous edit text, top to bottom of previous edit text. Giving attributes layout width as 0 dp and giving top margin as 16 dp. For left and right, I'm not giving margin as this edit text is constrained to the previous edit text. Giving hint as time. You can also specify the required format in the hint. And also I'm giving text appearance as large. Now test the application. Here you can see the keyboard with numbers and colon. Now drag and drop date. After giving all the attributes needed, test the application. As you can see, this keyboard have numbers and slash so that user can only type date. Yes, there need to be more validation in the Java code or in the Kotlin code, but still this will help you to validate easily. Next, I'm introducing edit text for typing numbers like age or years of experience like that. Test that in the application. Here you can type only numbers. Next is number signed which can be used to type weather, like minus two, minus three, etc. Here I'm facing some difficulty to drag and drop as the layout is full. So I'm dragging and dropping it into the component tree. As it is in the top of the layout, I'm giving constraints to bring it below the edit text for number, giving other attributes, and when I run the application, I couldn't see this edit text for signed number. To solve this issue, I'm going to the XML code and change the constraints matched to the edit text number. Actually, I couldn't do it from the design part so that I am changing it from the XML code. If you know any solutions, please comment below and let me know. Now you can type signed number in the app. Next, edit text is four decimal numbers. I'm giving constraints from the XML code. And then giving other attributes. And when you run the app, you can type numbers with decimals. And at last, as you can see, lots of warning signs 
Just clear that by putting hard-coded strings which we used in the hints to the edge string resource as shown. This step will help you to increase the performance of your app. You can check the iCard above to know how to remove that in detail. Now let's check how this app working in a real phone. So this was today's video. If this video helped you in any way, please support this channel. I will be posting more Android coding tutorials, MS Office tutorials and other tech related videos. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.